so far we have EW. EW is Edwards Life Sciences. If you look at the cost basis, we bought a contract for $500.66. And if we look at the market value, we see now it's up to $995. That is a 98.73% return in basically about 15 days. It's the 21st now, and we bought it on the 6th of August. Hey guys, this is August 21st, and we're about to go through this month's winning stocks. But before we jump into this month, we want to look at the previous month. And the previous month we held Tegna. We bought it on, on June 26th and sold it on June, July 17th, which is a little short of a month. We bought five options for $753.30 and sold them for $1,646.63. That was a $893.33 return, or a 118.58% return in less than a month. So now let's move to this month and see what's going on. And this month, so far we have EW. EW is Edwards Life Sciences. If you look at the cost basis, we bought a contract for $500.66. And if we look at the market value, we see now it's up to $995. That is a 98.73% return in basically about 15 days. It's the 21st now, and we bought it on the 6th of August. So that is a 98.73% return in 15 days. Um, it may be a little late to jump into that now, but we'll look at the chart in a little while and you guys can make that decision for yourself. We also have five below. Now, five below was just bought two days ago. This is Wednesday. It was bought on Monday. Five Below was bought for $847.66. It's already up to $975. That is a 15.02% return. And lastly, we have LKQ Corporation, also bought on Monday two days ago it was one option bought for three hundred and five dollars and sixty six cents now it's up to four hundred and seventy dollars that is a fifty three point seventy seven percent return in two days we want to Hopefully it will not drop back down come tomorrow, but let's take a look at these charts. And first we have Edward Life Sciences. We see it's really just moved up. Um, we see two weeks and a partial week. It's just slightly moved up this week. We have five below, 
looks like it's moved up about one and a half weeks so far even though the first week was positive but very slight so it's we I guess we could say it's gone up for the third week and LKQ Corporation up for the second week already it's only three days into the week but it's already made a pretty nice move this week so all of those may still provide a little opportunity although with EW you have to use your judgment now having looked at this particularly EW which is already up to above 90 percent in 15 days there is something that's very possible and that thing is that since options move so much in terms of percentages it is fully possible to hit a hundred percent on a month so I want to show you a challenge that I had actually started before I think I got through about four months before and then all of a sudden we got hit with the Ukraine war and the inflation high inflation at the same time which put the markets in a little bit of a tailspin so I stopped it then but I'm about to go back to it now and what that is is doubling your money every month with options I'm gonna show you what's possible hypothetically if you could double your money every month with options because the thing about options is let's say you hit a hundred percent every month but then for the next month you don't invest the same amount you invest the total of what you've made well if you're doing a hundred percent in the first month you have a thousand second month you have two thousand third month you have four thousand fourth month you have eight thousand fifth month you have sixteen thousand now the reason I say hypothetically is for one reason in order for you to do that you have to increase the amount of options that you're buying every month and as we get up to those higher months like six months 32,000 will the brokerage have enough options for sale for you to be able to buy to continue to improve your, your your results like I said after the sixth month we go to the seventh month that's 64,000 but until you're not able to get those options anymore you can double your money every month with options by increasing the amount of options that you're trading now I'm gonna present two ways of doing this to you one way is called the risky way you're doing it every month but let's say one month you have a bad month you lose everything you get all the way up to 32,000 then in one month you're wiped out but what if you did it a smarter way what if instead of every every month you did it every quarter in other words you do three sets and you double all three of those sets every quarter so one quarter you bring one set from 1000 to 2000 second set from 1000 to 2000 third set from 1000 to 2000 then the second quarter you do the second set from 
you do one set from 2,000 to 4,000, second set from 2,000 to 4,000, third set from 2,000 to 4,000, and you just continue. So now let's see that you get up to the third set that you're bringing from 2,000 to 4,000, and that set completely gets wiped out. You still have two other sets to work from, and you can just rebuild what you lost, then continue forward. Now, if you were to do the safe way, in 11 months, hypothetically, because remember, it depends on how many options you can get from the brokerage. But hypothetically, just by doubling your money, you can get to 1 million 24,000 in 11 months. However, if you were doing the safe investing way every quarter, you can get to 1 million 24,000 in 11 quarters. However, hitting 100% every month is not a guaranteed thing. It's possible, but not guaranteed. Let's say you were to go to a safer way. Let's say you were to choose to get 50% every month. Well, if you were doing 50% every month in the riskier way, by the 15th month, you would have 291, well, let's see. I'm sorry, by the 19th month, you would have 1,477,891.88. However, if you were doing safe investing, meaning not just doing 50% every month, but working from three sets instead of one, then you would have 1,477,891 in 19 quarters. And actually, remember you're dealing from three sets. So you would have three times 1,477,000. So we're just, like I said, at this point, we're speaking hypothetically because there's no guarantee that you'll be able to get the amount of stocks or options that you need to. But even though we're speaking hypothetically, Let's say that we applied the principle anyway and we started it. And it was working. We were hitting 50% every month. Now you get to the seventh quarter and you're already up $11,390. However, you're up $11,390 times 3. So you're actually up $33,000 having started with 3000 So in any event, this is hypothetical. But as we see, it is very possible to hit 100% returns on your options every month and very possible to hit 50% returns. And I will be going back to this challenge starting from this month. And I will actually be, even though in this week's option picks, that's gone away. I do this month's option picks on the channel now. I will be dropping the results of my option picks 
for my Stock Sage subscribers. So for those who are subscribed to the Stock Sage app, and the Stock Sage app, if you go to the prices menu, you'll see there's a $14.99 a month option or a $129 option. You can go into either of those. For those who are in Stock Sage, I do send, I've started sending regular emails letting them know what I'm doing and I'll also be letting them know what my option picks are as well so they will be receiving those emails as soon as I make purchases and when you have access to the Stock Sage app it shows you every stock that has positive earnings for at least three of the last five years or very likely all five years all five of the last previous the previous five years and there are other things that you look for in a solid stock that's going to be going up in value as well you want it to have regular stock buybacks a strong balance sheet with current assets above current liabilities and total assets above total liabilities the app does all of that for you and it even shows you those stocks which have a greater than 10 percent profit margin for all five years which is rare or even greater than 20 percent profit margin for all five years which is even rarer as well as stocks with an dividend yield above four percent which is also rare as we can see this stock here has a dividend yield of 6.22 percent what you can also do with this stock is see the current PE ratio which is now 12.29 and the PE ratios for the last five years 8.59 7.59, 8 point, no, 5.5, 7.05, and 11.72. So if I can look at the previous five years and see what the PE ratios are, I can get an idea of whether a stock is overpriced or not by what the low PE ratios are compared to now. Not counting COVID, the lowest P COVID lockdowns, the lowest PE ratio was 5.5 in 2021. If I calculate 5.5 times the current earnings per share which is 1.61 that gives me 8.85 so this stock is currently at $19.78 if it dropped to 2021's low PE ratio which was 5.5 it would drop to $8.85 from the current price of $19.78. So this app gives you everything that you need to do the proper analysis to buy fundamentally sound stocks. 
at their annual low price and within a buy range to get those opportunities in the market. And along with it, I send out regular emails with my insights on what's happening in the market, this week's winning stocks, and even when I see moves available on the options market. In any event, guys, that's it for this video. I look forward to speaking to you in the next one. Have a great day.